he's just lifting me. There he is. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Ramped up sensitivity just a little bit. I could see my bait. Not a winner, but we do know where we're at and where the fish are. And I'll take that for a start. <laughs> Next gen right there. Those aren't quite the ones that we're looking for. There's an awful lot of crappies out here right now, but you can kind of tell which schools are the ones you want. I mean, there's just a lot of fish on down imaging and even on the 2D here. But until you start seeing, you know, the arcs with the yellows and the oranges, those are the fish that you're going to want to put in the box. So I'm just driving around kind of sorting through these schools and dropping on the ones that I think are going to have the better fish in them. Even if I can't see myself, if the angle of the transducer on the bottom of the trolling motor isn't picking me up, you can kind of get a cue from the school of fish. It's almost as if you get close to them and they all start kind of averting their attention upward. So then you can kind of know that you're right in the zone. And we like to fish for crappies feeding up. So when you find a school like this, it's best to fish above them. And so when you see them down there starting to look up at something falling down, that's a pretty good stopping point. They usually come up to you like a rocket. Here comes a fish, and there it is. <laughs> All right, this one could be a boxer, and it is indeed. Here we go. Found a better school of crappies. Definitely found them, but like I said before, you gotta find those ones that have the good solid return on your sonar. And uh, these are the ones that we want for the dinner table tonight. So I will box this one and try to get back on those fish. Boom. There's one. Puppy. <laughs> nice. We got some real tannic water in this lake, real dark and bog stained. So I am going with a brighter color here. Kind of a chartreuse head. And this little color of the plastic is called radioactive pickle, which I think is a pretty good description. It's kind of a brighter green with some black speckles in there. It's got good contrast on this darker water lake. And this is the coconut crab. New plastic from 13. Cool thing about this bait too is you can see how wide it is. It kind of does some kind of flying and planing out down there, especially with this head. But that's kind of why I chose this plastic is because it's got a little bit more horizontal movement. A little wider and catches the water a little better and can do some gliding. There we go. Little cat and mouse game on that one. Smaller one again, I think, but. Cat and mouse. It's good practice for the coming ice fishing season. As soon as you drop down to the school, they get all fired up. Then they won't commit. And so you pull it away from a little bit, sink it down to them, pull it away from a little bit, and yo-yo it until they get mad, you know? Okay, my bait's just getting down to them now. Twitch, 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 twitch. Oh, there we go. That was almost on the fall. Okay, I like the feel of this one a little better. What is it? Nice, nice. Yep. Crappy. Nice. There's lots to do in the fall in the Northland. And this is one of my absolute favorite things. Basin crappies, 